OG Lee in the house once again, once again. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. You know, I want to talk a little bit about relationships. I've been in my current relationship since 1985, however many years that is, 15, 36 years or something like that. And as you know, I, I do videos. I do them, as I say, for posterity because they'll be around in all likelihood a lot longer than I will. And I want to bring a message because I look at relationships and I see relationships a lot of times dwindle away. A lot, a lot of times, short periods of time, two years, three years. And I want to say something here. Because time is valuable. Patience is a virtue. And when you look and think about a relationship, I don't, I don't want you to rush into anything. Very important not to rush, especially into something physical. Because the physical can literally mesmerize a person into liking what they're getting and thinking that they're loving a person when it's purely, purely physical. So you look at a relationship and you look at it in the infancy stages and both of the people, both of the people are trying to do things to satisfy and attract the other person. And so you have to be on your best behavior. Amen. But what I want you to understand is that in the infancy stages, the person who you are involved with, they send out the representative. Amen. Amen. I want you to think about a job interview. I know you've been on several job interviews. Now don't you go on there. Don't don't first of all you put on a lot of times some of your your best stuff so you look your best. Huh? And then you go in there and you talk a good game and you even have a resume to back it up. Amen. You ever been on the human resources side of things? <laughs> Because a lot of times, once the person starts actually working at the place, and if they work for you, you know it. Amen. They never said that they would miss work once a week and be late three times a week. Amen. They never said that they talk on the phone <laughs> all the time to their friend about four hours of the day. Every time you come by the desk, amen, they're on the phone. And it ain't about business. My God, my God, my God. And so they sent the representative to the job interview. <laughs> you gotta feel me. <laughs> Amen. In a relationship, it's the same way. Usually, both people, but especially the male, will send the representative for our, however long it takes to get the job and get the job done. Amen. But oh, once the job has to be done every day, day in, day out, with commitment. Amen. Oh, you start seeing, especially the male, start backing away. He begins to back away. And so sometimes he leaves the young lady even in a predicament where they've brought into the world another life. <laughs> and now we really have a complicated situation because the representative that was sent to the interview, to the relationship, he doesn't like this job, he wants to quit. Amen. So it is imperative 
that when someone comes up and wants the job of being your mate, amen, that you thoroughly, thoroughly vet this individual. Oh, especially if you're female. Because usually you will get caught holding the bag, as we say, with the young individual that you may not even be ready for and never wanted. And he may have a financial obligation, but man, does he get off the hook. You know, I, I think about some of the babies. Oh, when they really, you know, a baby really needs some love to, to want to be accepted. And I think about someone who grows up to be a murderer, just a cold-blooded killer. And I think about what went on in his or her life at some point. And I realize from having done it myself time and time again, I realize that you have to give a young life love for it to understand love and not want to destroy life. Oh, but we failed on the interview. We failed because the interviewee was saying all of the things that we wanted to hear and we didn't properly vet that individual to see if he sent the imposter to the interview. What have you done in the past? Let me know, let me, let me tell me about some things that you've done that has proven what you're saying, which is a lot of times when you're in an interview, you're telling them everything that you can do that's so great, every good thing about you. See, you wanna make sure that once you go through that interview, see, and you happen to hire this person, oh, don't tell him the company secrets. <laughs> oh, don't, don't let him in on the company secrets, not yet. Oh no, we want this individual to work with us. Huh? Hey man, we want this individual to work with us over some time so we can get to know habits. So we can get to see the real person, not the person who came to the interview. Huh? We're trying to let them live out some of the things they said so we can see if this is a person who's gonna do what they say they're gonna do. Amen? You don't want to give them the company secrets. Oh no. We want some time to expire so we can weed this individual out. We want to know what you like when it rains. Amen. I heard somebody say, anybody can do it when the sun shines. We want to know what you like when it rains. We want to know what it's like when things don't go your way. We want to know what it's like when you got to be up three o'clock in the morning with me, maybe going to the hospital. Amen. Oh, don't give up the company secrets so quick. Oh, no, we want this individual to prove himself because the last thing we want is to bring a life into the world that nobody wants. Amen. That is a reality because I'm telling you, I've touched some souls in my life. And when you impart love in an individual, it's gonna be very difficult for them to destroy life. I'm talking about down to a worm, <laughs> amen? <laughs> amen. And so, I want you to understand that a relationship is built over time. And come what may, you want a partner who is gonna be there for you through thick and thin, through the good and the bad, the ups and the downs. And so for posterity, I wanna to say to you, whoever you are, the one person that needs to hear this, don't be overwhelmed by those looks. Don't be overwhelmed by that smile. What'd you say? I said, don't be overwhelmed by those looks. Don't be overwhelmed by that smile. Oh, that swagger when he or she walks. Don't get discombobulated by the booty. Don't get overwhelmed by the dimples. I said I love him because he first loved me. And so you impart that same love 
in that person who you say you love. See, very important to look at behavior and not worry about what someone is saying. Amen. <laughs> I said the eyes believe themselves. The ears believe others. Especially to my females. Oh, protect yourself. Because in an interview, oh my God, we can sell ice to an Eskimo. He may, she may not be the cutest, may not be the skinniest, because it's just us two against the world, against the world. And as long as we are compatible, that is the key. Share the same values, ethics, amen. Amen. All of the physical. Oh, but it dwindles away. And all that is left is the soul, the spirit. Amen. Give it some time. When the company gives away its secrets, they want to make sure at that point that they have a trusted co-partner, co-worker, whatever. Someone who can be trusted with the company's secrets, in this case, with your life and the lives that come after from the union of you and your partner. Pick someone who is very interested in your growth. Pick someone who will be there when no one else will be. Pick someone who will be there when you're gray and not think about what the world thinks about who you're with, but think about how you think about the person you're with and how love is gonna manifest in your lives. After the interview, put him to work, put her to work. And in a time, when the time is right, the company secrets will be divulged. Once we can determine that this individual is trustworthy, loyal, hardworking, diligent, amen. And we give this person, and when we give this person the company secrets, when we give them the key, the combination to the vault, we want it to be forever. Amen. This is OG Lee, and I'll see you again soon.